us a summer between the fifth and sixth grade. My dad's cousin took me fly fishing, not too far downstream from here. I remember him wading out in the river with hip boots, and I had a spinning rod and he had his fly rod. And you couldn't believe how good the quality of the fishing was. And we don't see that anymore. The Deschutes River is one of the few rivers that flows through this landscape. The effect on our economy it is so important to every aspect of it, not just one single source, but a variety of different sources. This is the lifeblood of Central Oregon. Now the river is managed as a basically a glorified irrigation ditch. The historical stream flow in the Deschutes River has been very even. What we have done is taken a river system that had very even flows year-round, and we've now given it highly unusual, very high flows in the summer and low flows in the winter. And that's a really, really bad deal for the river. It's in this cycle of flooded and then dried out, flooded, dried out, flooded, dried out. It's eroding its banks, and it's eroding its banks very, very quickly. Even though it's a wild and scenic river, there's a lot of mortality and kill going on throughout the length of the river. The fish kill was reported in 2013. They did salvages in 13, 14, and 15. But frankly, it's been going on for 70 years or more. How many people from then go up around Wikiup in the wintertime? Hardly any. So they don't see the devastation that's there. They don't know what's happening. That is just a hidden crime. We're supposed to be stewards of this river, but really this river is being mismanaged to death. So we've dammed the river and built up big reservoirs so that we can store that water throughout the winter and then in the, in the late spring, summer, we release that water for irrigation. Agriculture has been a part of Central Oregon's economy for a long time and will continue to be. The problem is some farmers and some irrigators do a better job than others. Every time I drive by water running down the side of the road or, or flooding a field, I think, my God, that water could have stayed in Wikia and made the upper to shoots just ever so slightly higher over the course of the winter. That is what bothers me so much, is to see the waste. There is enough water flowing through this system that we can keep some even flows in the river year round and still meet the needs of people and wildlife and all these different stakeholders. You look at the guy that puts in a state-of-the-art pivot and knows when to water and is cultivating his land properly, and I would argue all day long for that guy. I'm the last guy in the world that would want to take that away from somebody because I don't want anybody to take anything away from me. But guess what? They are taking something away from me. Every winter when they run this thing down to 20 CFS and kill my trout, they're taking something away from me. It's a water management issue. There's been a lot of chatter going on for the last 25 and 30 years about how we can do a better job, and it hasn't happened yet. Until we decide that we're not gonna waste water anymore, and even out the extreme flow change, the Deschutes doesn't have much of a chance. Having a healthy river is critical to our economy, to our way of life as people. Without it, we would be lost. We need to make a decision. Every day, the Deschutes is telling us that it's dying. And every day, we keep doing the same thing. It's time for that to change. <laughs>